Hey guys, it's been a little bit. I had some complications with my YouTube channel. Some of you may have noticed. Of course, my battery's gonna die. All right, where were we? So yeah, I had some complications with my YouTube on Sunday morning. I woke up to like 15 notifications in a row on my phone. I happened to have my phone on sound for some reason that morning and it basically was saying that there was a security alert on my Google account and that my password had been changed or something and basically like it was suspicious activity or whatever. So anyways, I tried my best to log on to my Gmail and recover everything because I could no longer get in. And by that point, I had already noticed that uh, whoever had gotten into my account had changed my recovery phone number and my recovery email and I knew that this person, this hacker, did a pretty dang good job at getting up my account. So within this process I had already got a hold of Google. I was able to actually contact them by phone which I never thought in a million years I would be able to contact someone through Google on the phone. and. They were helpful, but didn't really achieve anything. So they couldn't get me back into my account, but they did ask one last question before I got off the phone, which I think probably changed the course of this whole situation. But they asked, do you know of anyone that could have done this to you? And I basically stated that I was a YouTuber and I had a lot of subscribers and who knows who it could be. So at that point they did escalate it to YouTube, which I am so thankful for because YouTube was able to actually disable my channel completely and wipe it off of YouTube, which was absolutely terrifying in the moment and I was scared that I was never going to get it back and they basically said that I couldn't access my YouTube until I could access my Gmail, which seemed next to impossible because Gmail could not help me. So anyways, I just like was continually emailing uh, the YouTube team and thankfully over, I think it was 24 hours of emailing back and forth and sending information and proving I am who I am. I was actually able to get everything back up and running and I am beyond thankful to YouTube team and how quickly they responded and um, how efficient they were with uh, getting everything done and communicating with me. It didn't seem like I had to wait too, too long for emails to come back because I was a complete mess. I, some of you possibly may have seen my Instagram live that morning. And even then, like I didn't know the gravity of the situation yet at that point, uh, cause my channel was still visible. But like when they disabled my channel and I could no longer see it, I couldn't get on to it. It was terrifying. I had thought that 10 years of work was gone. I thought that all of Baby Girl's videos that I have ever had of her were now gone. I mean, Damien's entire life was on YouTube. The whole entire house build, like there was so much on my channel that I, I knew was so important to me, but I didn't realize like how quickly it could be gone. And over the years I had saved some like important videos, but I didn't keep the majority of them because it's just so much storage to keep up with. And so I guess I've learned my lesson. Thank you, hacker. Um, I am going to spend some time basically downloading all of my videos and having hard copies of them because it was just terrifying to know that I had all these videos of Bibba Girls and they were just all of a sudden gone. And yeah, my world came crashing down. I instantly thought like, oh my God, I'm not gonna be receiving a paycheck this month. Like, and I mean, you guys know, like I don't make much on these videos anymore. Um, but yeah, that was terrifying and my stomach was in knots the whole day and Kyle was pretty sad about it too. We both didn't want to get our hopes up, but um, I'm gonna just start calling him Mr. Man. But Mr. Man was uh, super 
positive about the situation and he's like don't worry it's fine it's gonna be fine you're gonna get it back it's gonna be all fine and I was like no it's not and I was so upset um, but anyways so and then of course you know mom and dad and and everyone they were all super upset and just we were all trying to be hopeful but not get our hopes up and thankfully YouTube pulled through and was able to get it back for me so I'm super happy about that and super thankful. I just figured I would do this video on that quickly to kind of update you guys. I've been working on a project. I went up to actually Bracebridge again not to do, do Justin's HVAC stuff but for a friend of hours that actually have a company a construction company and they're getting into septics so i was able to be there two days in a row or two days is it in a row i don't know i think it was like two days anyways and yeah that was super fun so i'm working on that video i'm actually gonna do like a longer video for them and then like a shorter video for them to use as like an ad for facebook and stuff like that and throughout this all this process it was so funny because a friend of mine from actually grade one mom ended up seeing her in the doctor's office and she ended up messaging me and saying hey let's get together because we haven't seen each other since i think baby girl's funeral and then prior to that was our wedding and so it's just you know life gets chaotic she's had five babies she's like let's get the kids together at a park so we did that and then she's like yeah we just had an offer accepted on a house and she showed me the listing and sure enough she moved into my town which she lived you know back where i used to live when i was younger so i was like no way like you're gonna be my neighbor basically so that's been super fun you know damien and her oldest boy actually got to uh, meet at the park and then i took damien with me one day for the uh, septic shoot and they got to play all day long and now her kids just started at damien's school so they kind of were able to have you know that in a little bit know at least somebody so that was fun and then i also just had a wedding contract signed for october so i have that coming up and i've just been like super busy i feel like this summer went by way too fast we've been trying to stay busy and do lots of fun things because i feel like this is the first year that we haven't really worked on the house completely and we just like wanted to soak it up as much as possible but yet, of course, it went by way too fast. Labor Day, I did the fair again that I had mentioned last year. Uh, we bartended that and had an awesome weekend. We were actually able to get our trailer there this year. So Damien was able to come and enjoy and actually go to the fair and do some fun things like rides and games. Uh, he got like an airbrush tattoo type thing. Really fun weekend. I was dreading going just because I know like it's so exhausting. You're up like all hours of the weekend but it was again super fun so we do have one more camping trip coming up soon and we do that one because it's close by Damien's school and we can take him to school um, and kind of have like a break during the day and actually have a vacation <laughs> but so yeah we promised him that one because we usually try and do that every year I don't know if we did it last year but so we're gonna be doing that one and I'll be vlogging that and then hopefully after that fingers crossed mr. man <laughs> we might actually do a trip um, right after that as well after I come home so we'll see how that goes but yeah so exciting things that might be happening and fall has pretty much hit here the leaves have changed and it got super cold and nasty and then actually this week week and next week i think are supposed to be nice again so trying to soak up some hours in the sun today i just sat out here and yeah so i hope you guys all had a wonderful summer and you are getting back on track with your kiddos in school if you don't have kiddos in school how is your life going let me know in the comments and let's get some good positive vibes in the comments for this video because i sure need it and things are gonna go up from here even though winter's coming and yeah so 
anyways i will see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching bye guys